In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Camera 3D Toolkit in After Effects from start to finish. I decided to make this video because one of my subscribers asked me for a full tutorial covering every feature in detail. So grab a coffee and let's go through it step by step. Installing the plugin. After downloading the plugin, you'll find a file with installation instructions. It's super easy. Then open After Effects, go to Window, Extensions, and you see Camera 3D Toolkit listed there. There are three versions, Light, Free, and Pro. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Pro version to unlock all the features. Getting familiar with the interface. When you launch the plugin, a floating panel appears. You can dock it anywhere in your After Effects workspace. It's clean, compact, and designed so all options remain visible, even when you shrink the panel. That way, you don't need to constantly reopen or resize it. First quick test. I'll start by creating some text in my composition and duplicating it five times so you can clearly see the effects. Once that's ready, I'll click the Quick Setup button. With just one click, Quick Setup will create a camera, create a null object, switch all selected layers to 3D, parent the camera to the null. This replaces multiple manual steps. Right click, new camera, toggling 3D switches, etc. It's a huge time saver. If you ever want to revert, just click Reset to remove all those elements. The Setup option. The Setup button works similarly to Quick Setup, but with one key difference. It creates the camera and null, but does not push your layers back on the Z axis. It's perfect when you want to keep their original positions. Layer Spacing. If you have multiple layers and want to space them out quickly, use the spacing section. Instead of opening each layer, going to transform, position, and changing the numbers, just select the layers you want to space, adjust the slider for the X, Y, or Z axis. On the Z axis, you notice the difference, especially when using an active camera. There are also random position, randomly places layers along the axis. Random rotation gives each layer a random rotation. Automatic camera animation. Now let's look at the animation section. Here you can create camera moves instantly. Steps, select the null, not the camera. Choose the animation duration, for example, three seconds. Click one of the buttons, pan left, pan right, push in, move closer, pull back, move away, tilt up, tilt down. You can also enter an exact rotation angle, for example, 45 degrees, and the plugin will automatically create the keyframes. Seven, the target feature. The target feature tells the camera to point to a specific layer. Select the layer, click target and the camera will move and aim at it automatically. You can chain multiple targets together for smooth transitions between different objects. Relative active mode. By default, the camera stops briefly at each target. If you enable relative active, it offsets the keyframes so the movements flow continuously without pauses, creating a cinematic tracking effect. Focus and depth of field. The focus and blur section makes it easy to add depth of field. Anything close to the camera stays sharp while objects further away become blurry. Adjust the focus slider to set exactly where the sharp zone is. Opacity control. The opacity button reduces the transparency of layers that are far from the camera, adding more depth to your scene. Make sure to apply this before enabling relative active for best results. Camera shake. The camera shake section adds a realistic handheld feel to your shots. Choose from presets, soft, handheld, etc. And adjust frequency, speed of the shake, amplitude, intensity of the shake. The plugin applies everything automatically to your camera's null. Speed map. 
Speed map is perfect for animating maps or screenshots. For example, import a map image, click different points, Spain, Turkey, USA, with target, and the camera will jump between them. Use speed ramp to speed up or slow down between waypoints. You can even draw an automatic path between two points and customize its color. Practical example with a path. If you want a visual travel path, select your layers, click map, path, choose your color. The plugin generates the path instantly. Camera 3D Toolkit is an incredibly powerful time saver for After Effects. From creating cameras to spacing layers, animating shots, adding depth of field, or even building map animations. It's all just a few clicks away. Play around with the features, see what works best for your projects, and let me know in the comments which function you like the most. And if you want a deep dive tutorial on one specific feature, I'll be happy to